Hello, Aries. All right, Aries, let's get right into your reading. This is a continuation of your previous video, Aries. And let's see what um, let's see what's um, what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards, Aries. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So yeah, karmic bonds are being broken, and this is the year that a lot of karmic bonds are being broken. However, they're being broken. You know, things are ending. You know, sources breaking some stuff up. Whether you have a karmic bond with your money, and when we talk about relationships, we're not just talking about people, people, places, and things, jobs, money, family members, friends, all of that. This is the year of wealth, and a lot of people don't have room to receive the wealth of things that you pray for. Whether it's wealth of knowledge, wealth of um, uh, money, whatever wealth you're praying for, wealth of creativity, because some people are in some relationships that God told them, cut that relationship off. If you want to graduate from college, you're going to have to stop hanging out with certain friends. That would be a karmic situation. Or if you want love in your life, you're going to have to cut some of them exes off. Stop just being kind and nice to them and hanging in there with them. Whatever it is, or if you wanna, if you wanna, you know, keep more money, you're gonna have to stop spending every time I give you extra money, karmic, right? So yeah, that's what I mean. Let's get into it. I've already prayed over your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Yeah, somebody's a hardworking person, and source is saying to you, you you're gonna have to start planting some seeds without without some people, for real. Here we have the Knight of um, Pentacles. Here we have the Two of Pentacles, right? We also have the Seven of Pentacles, right? Source is saying somebody's going to have to get real clear and get locked in and laser focus. It's like you're an extremely smart person and you're moving through a rite of passage. So Source is saying there's two situations in particular that has been nightmares for somebody and two types of situations. It's two types of situations. They could have started with your family first and foremost, like parents, you know, where they may not have taught you to, to detach from karmic relationships. Maybe you're just now hearing about karmic relationships, but now that you're knowing you're going to sit down during Mercury retrograde and take inventory of what you invest your time in, like what your thoughts are and what you saying out of your mouth. So that could mean God is putting you around other people that are extremely wealthy. And you see their money growing. You're like, okay, how do they think? What are some of the things they're talking about? Are they sitting around talking about some of the same things that I talk about when I, with my karmic relationships? Yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead and break those situations off, right? So a lot of things are happening where karmic relationships are being broken, you know, this year, during this year of wealth, because a lot of people have landed on the dark side of the number eight. This is the year of eight. Eight is a karmic number. Eight is the dark side of eight as people who have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior about whatever area of their lives or people who are egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. Sources saying, when you're moving from purpose, everything that you pray for will come your way, like in the way that she's like the best, like God is sending you the best. So yeah, so source is saying as it relates to two types of energies, energies you feel like have been a nightmare in your life or you or they feel like you've been a nightmare in your life. Hey, let's go ahead and just break this thing up and move on. Let's just if you if you believe I've been a nightmare to you or you've been a nightmare to me. Hey, hey, we, we if we don't agree on anything else. We agree that we're at the number nine. It's a death rebirth parting ways and I'm moving forward. It's a death rebirth. I don't have to land on the dark side of the number nine, tyrannical and egotistical. Oh yeah. Well, they, they, this and that, and they don't know how to, as all that time and stuff, I wasted time. You don't have to do all of that. So it's just saying if they've shown you through word, thought, and deed that you've been a nightmare to them, or you feel like they've been a nightmare to you, go ahead and, and do your thing. You're a cardinal sign. You can go ahead and initiate the change immediately. So two of cups, source of sending soulmate energy into your life. Move on. Move on. That's how you're going to make room for additional streams of income. That's right. So it's, it's two situations in particular where you may have felt like, you know, it could be two people, two places, two things, whatever it is. Somebody could definitely feel like, um, and it could be an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Virgo, um, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus for somebody, um, could it feel like that somehow it could be involved in that situation where you just feel like, I feel like my emotions are being manipulated. I'm tired of being hurt. Or maybe they felt like they were being hurt. Something was sources saying, I'm teaching you how to connect with energies where, 
And the reason why I'm not talking actually about just zodiac signs is you could actually have those zodiac signs in your birth chart. And I don't want you to get caught up on, oh yeah, Virgo hurt me or a, a Capricorn hurt me or Taurus hurt me. Because getting stuck on just a zodiac sign, because the same sign, same element like earth energy could come into your life and be and show you a totally different side. Remember, their birth charts are different. So I just want to make sure we say that, right? Yeah, like I was saying before, you can get along with any sign, so don't jump to conclusions about zodiac signs because whereas you may feel like, okay, earth signs are this kind of way, that's that's Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus are this kind of way, in a negative sense, you can meet the same element of earth, Virgo, uh, Taurus, or Capricorn, that you have an excellent bond with, right? It really is you know, excellent bond with the energy of money since money is kicking off your reading where they are very clear about how, what their purpose is. And they could have a good, uh, they could have a, a healthy relationship with the energy of money, time and money versus you could meet another earth sign, whether, like I said, Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus that is, is blaming everybody for how everybody wasted their energy and wasted their time. So it really is, it, it really is a matter of how long you sit in that and allow your fire to be contaminated. You know, are you going to allow that fire? If, you, if you're with the right energies, that the conversation is good and the conversation is healthy about investing in time slash money, then you'll know, okay, this person is not living in regret. They said, okay, it was some things I had to learn about how I invested my time and who I invested my time with, time slash money. Versus the person who feels like everybody stole their time, stole their money, right? That kind of thing. Like time slash money. Not like somebody reached into your bank account and stole your money. But um, but you know what I'm saying. Like So I definitely feel like somebody is now taking the blindfolds off and somebody is definitely moving on. And a soulmate is helping you to do that so you can leave you know, this feeling that you felt foolish and you wasted your time and your energy with two types of energy and they were a nightmare when they could be saying the same thing about you and all of that. So you're saying, you know what, I'm moving on. King of Wands, right? So there's some energies that are watching you. You're inspiring and motivating a lot of people. But of course, you always got those other side of people who are criticizing everything that you do. As far as you're concerned, they don't count, right? <laughs> For real. Here we have the Queen of Wands. That's not going to stop you from feeling happy, charismatic, and free and moving forward. And again, staying away from those negative conversation people, right? Like I said, some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across in your path. And in the past, you could have felt like you were in a demonic bond with some energy. So instead of demonizing them, see what your demons are, fear, doubt, uncertainty, because in hindsight, that's what demons are, would be like fear, doubt, uncertainty, addictions, or whatever, as it relates to uh, people. So let's say, for instance, your demon was fear of leaving a relationship behind, fearful so much so that you started, uh, you started, you started to um, justify staying in something like that hurt you more than it helped you. You know how sometimes people just like, you know what, that's just how they are. We've been in this thing for so long. I just, it'll get better eventually. And it just never gets better, right? So the same thing with, you know, relationships, staying connected to people with have, you know, always got money problems. They always, they always got on the latest this, latest that, but they're always um, taking advantage of people, you know, when it comes to money, right? Um, some of you all have relatives. They always had the, the, um, fur coats on the, this and that, the jewelry and all of this other stuff. But every time you hear whispers of them around the, the family, they write people bad checks and stuff like that. Not the hell they have a karmic relationship with the energy of money, or you may have heard, it just a lot of stuff when I'm, cause this connects you back to family. It connects you back to family. So whatever it is, Source is saying to you, it's hard to see good people coming across your path. That's going to help you to see, see how this person has on blindfolds and this person is covering their eyes up. It's hard to see good people that come across your path that really do have a good heart to show you, you know, um, that, you know, that every, everybody has a purpose. And so this is about if, if you invest in this, this friendship, this romantic relationship, it can quite to be, it can be quite fruitful. So 
This is about seeing everybody's light. This is about seeing everybody's light. So a soulmate is going to come into your life and help, if, not, if they're not already there, and help you to see that. Five of Swords. Because otherwise, it'll look like everybody was playing you. Everybody was playing games. And again, two, then you used to look at two situations in particular. They were a nightmare. And maybe they were to you. You know, not taken away. Because, I mean, if it's if it's based on your factual memory, really, and your, your memories are legit. Your feelings are legit. Just like theirs are. But there's two sides of the sword, right? So, source is just telling you, you can replace those two things, those two situations with a partnership in business and or in love if you want to. Or you can keep demonizing it and saying, I don't have any demons. I don't know why, you know, they did this to me. They did that to me. Or you can say, I was scared to leave a relationship. Or, you know, I this is a vulnerability. When the moon moves into Leo, your vulnerability is your strength. Maybe you were in a situation where you were afraid to leave a situation for whatever reason. Maybe you stayed in that miserable job because you felt like, okay, I'm not going to make any more money than this because I don't have an education, you know? So this is the time to be real with yourselves. And now it's time to start planting some new seeds. It's the time to start planting some new seeds and somebody coming into your life is going to help you to learn how to plant new seeds, not of regret, but pull up all those weeds to say, okay, now it's time to plant some new seeds. Some conversations are going to be very different, right? You're moving through a rite of passage. That's the four of swords here. Swords really wants you to get some rest because you've already gone through enough pain. Both of you and somebody, y'all are moving through a rite of passage, right? Here we also have the Empress card. Um... Sometimes you don't know, you know, like that's why it's like, okay, I'm gonna give myself that's why that's why if you were if you've married or if you are married, that's why couples go through renewals of vows and saying, Okay, this is an agreement. We've gotten to a part where now we're looking at each other like I don't recognize you, I don't recognize you either. Right? And so let's come to an agreement or let's just go our separate ways. Um, that's sometimes why people have more kids. That's why some people, you know, renew contracts in the workplace. That's why people renew their country, their contracts and their friendships, all of those. So it's always give yourself like be your own project manager for your own life and say, okay, we've reached a milestone. So now how are we going to moving forward? How are we going to close out this cycle in love and move forward either into the next phase together or apart either way i wish you the best and move on right so that's what i'm seeing uh for somebody so that's the journey i feel like you're on is like getting some clarity and coming off the dark side of the number eight where somebody feels like they have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior because you've gone through so much hurt and so much pain and that number 10 is the number for instant manifestation so source is saying you can either go back into a nightmare by still talking about it and overthinking it, or you can get on your horse and get as far away from the conversation and the thinking about it. Every time you think about people, places, and things that you feel like they said they treated you, and they may not even have said it, they treated you like you were a nightmare in their life or vice versa. So it's the same. You can toss it in so you can cleanse by fire. You're a fire sign, right? You can cleanse by fire. And move on. Go get take a walk. Get out in the sunlight so you can cleanse by sun. Cleanse by sunlight. Right? So that you are yeah, recharging, right? So and taking the blindfolds off. Yeah. So you can get off that fence of sitting there like I'm not really sure which direction to go. No talking about it. By word, thought, or deed. I'm not releasing that energy out into the universe. I'm not holding a grudge because I'm not even holding space. I'm just moving on. That's outside of my universe is a whole lot of things I can fill my brains up with besides talking about things that were extremely painful for me. Like maybe, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to push therapy on anybody, but whatever you choose to hug a tree, however you feel like to heal, maybe going to the gym to work out, taking a long walk, you know, going to see a play. There's a lot of different things you can do to invest in yourself. Mercury is retrograde. So somebody is really thinking about the time that they've invested in self. And your self-growth, right? It's a lot of air here. Somebody is filling that air up with a new book, a new business plan, a new project that you're working on. Somebody is taking the time to fill that air, that space with talking about different things, right? And so um, if you don't have a soulmate in your life or you feel like you don't have somebody to talk to, this is a great time to talk to Source. Source, if I had a soulmate in my life, like a best friend, what would that best friend look like on the inside and outside? Would it look like a person that every time I have a negative thought, 
and I wanted to talk about it. They hold, uh, they held space for me, but they, um, they didn't offer unwarranted advice or, you know, they helped me to redirect my thoughts to something positive, uh, or like, what does that look like? If I had to, if I had to create a new best friend or soulmate or a member of my soul community, what would that look like for me? This is a great time to do it since Mercury is retrograde. Mercury is a communication and messenger planet, right? So what kind of messages do you send out to the universe? Are you grateful that the past is now behind you? Why? Why are you glad that the past is behind you? Because you learn lessons about yourself. Here we have the magician card, which is attached to Mercury. That's how somebody's breakthrough is going to come in. That's how your breakthrough is going to come in. Here we also have the tower card. Somebody's having a tower moment of saying, okay, it's time for me to stop talking about it and do something about it. I need to focus on my purpose. Why do I have such a big heart that keeps getting deeply disappointed, broken to a point where it just feels traumatic? Like, why can't I, why can't I, why am I such an over giver of thought before I move on from painful experiences? And that's where you're, somebody's going to find their purpose their purpose on planet earth and all of this pain that you've gone through. So, so I feel like somebody's in hermit mode. These two cards right here are ruled by this planet. This is Virgo and Gemini are ruled by Mercury, the planet, the messenger and communication planet, right? So you got to ask yourself since, um, the lover's card, Gemini is a sender and her and uh, Virgos are receivers by default. We all embody divine masculine and divine um, feminine energy to make us whole and complete. But what kind of messages do I send out to the universe that I keep attracting energies that keep hurting me? What messages do I do? I send out desperation. Do I send out woe is me? Do I send out I've been so hurt by so many people? that I'm hoping that somebody's going to come along and treat me better. Uh, if you're saying that to certain energies, they're listening to that saying, oh, they're an overgiver. You got to understand it's, certain, it's, a, it's people on that frequency, hurt people, hurt people. And so it's not always intentional. So source is trying to tell somebody that that's the breakthrough for you. If you keep attracting hurt people, that's that part of yourself you want to examine. Like, okay, have I, have I, was I put in their life to in, encourage and empower them and not stay in their lives? Just like, okay, you have it in you to be great. You have a purpose in your life too. And if they keep saying, woe is me, I'm so hurt. So as I said, you may have to wrap it up. You may have to say, okay, I need to go ahead and close this situation out. I, I, I need to go ahead and close this situation out because this is draining, this is draining me. This is like a Debbie or Dave Downer situation, Right. Do I keep warming up to a manager who is showing me that they have an issue, that something else is going on? So I feel like somebody's going to feel like they're putting the past behind them and moving forward and moving forward in childlike faith. That's what I'm seeing for you. That's where your third eye is now open. Yep. Somebody's third eye is now open. Like I said, there's the full card. Somebody says, okay, I need to leave that behind. I need to stop being in circus situations. I need to get out of situations where I feel like I'm just being entertained. You know, like when you feel like when, when people bring out the clowns, they, the clowns come out when they're a distraction, there's a need for a distraction, but make no mistake about it. Under that tent are wild animals, lions, tigers, bears, Whatever else, other kind of animals you see in a circus situation, am I in a job situation where think it, things could go left at any moment? It was entertaining at first. Or am I in a family situation where things could go left at any point? You know, I'm just like, oh, that's family. Or have you just gotten adjusted to that kind of behavior to a point where it's just like, okay, you become desensitized to all the pain that's going on. People wearing masks and pretending like, if one of those animals decide, hey, they don't want to be tapped by that little pole by the ringleader that day, they just tear up that whole thing and people go flying out the exit, <laughs> you know, they come running out the door screaming and hollering popcorn and soda everywhere. So it's the same. Have you become desensitized to your own pain? Have you become used to that? So that's what I'm seeing in your cars. If somebody is saying, you know what? I need to do some deep healing. I need to do some, whatever that looks like. I need to hug a tree since we're talking about earth, uh, earth here. I need to do some grounding. I need to reconnect with the earth. 
I need some fresh air. That could look like a vacation. That could look like I'm going into hermit mode. I ain't talking to nobody. I just need to go into heavy prayer during meditation. I need to talk to source. I need to recharge and reset. I need to do some sunbathing. I need to do something to get away from all of this. So don't forget to rest. That's a form of self-care. Archangel Gabriel, Gabriel, the angel, the messenger of God is going to get some messages to do to somebody when you sit down and, and get some fresh air away from everything. Have you to start thinking about some things. Somebody secretly has a crush on you. You have a whole new attitude. And like I said, one yes from God is all you need. Your ex wants to return, whoever that is, but God doesn't want you to go backwards. God does not want you to look back. Because you'd be going back into a circus situation. You have the gift of telepathy. That's transference of thoughts, feelings, or ideas, whether they're intuitively, emotively, or super consciously. And so heal, like I said, heal people just move differently. Maybe you were attracting people. Your inner child is very proud of you. You could have been attracting people when you were on that frequency. And they could have attracted you because y'all were on the same frequency. Somewhere y'all met at that hurt frequency. And so source is saying, now you're learning through a, some painful experiences that if I come across people who are not interested in healing, then I need to recognize God sent me. The purpose of me being connected to them is to show them that they too have purpose, but I'm, I don't have to carry their bag of hurt. I don't have to carry that bag of confusion and pain. That's what I'm saying for you all. Sometimes you just got to tell people, hey, I'm going to pray for you. I, I know things are going to get better, but I'm going to send up a prayer. Prayer is like having a billion dollars in a bank. You're saying, God, I, I hope that they, they heal from all the things that have hurt them. I, I pray that I pray sincerely, not that I pray that they get the help that they need. Sometimes people say that it has such a negative connotation to it. You know, it comes across as hurt. But source is saying to you, I see a heartfelt prayer for people that God sent across your path, like people that prayed for you, that God, I hope that they heal from the pain that, that they've been, that people caused them or, you know, their painful experiences. And sometimes you just have to release people in love for real before they hurt you. I can see that they've been, you know, they're in a lot of pain. I could just see it all over how they move, how they act, what they talking about. They just been in so much pain. And I've been there and I connect, but you're not trying to trauma bond. So I got to move on from that. Affirmation for acceptance. I accept myself as I am. I accept what is without resistance. I have the power to choose my actions. I have the power to create change. I have a practice patience with myself. I am loved. I am not alone. I am at peace. That is what I have for you. Uh, let me see if there's a number. Uh yeah. Let's see if there's a number. Let's see if there's a number. Let's see if there's a number. Because, yes, yeah, somebody's having a tower moment right now to just leave some situations behind. You are very, very powerful. And a lot of hurt people are attracted to your energy. Maybe it's the way you make people laugh. Maybe it's your connections. You could think somebody wants you for your money, and they could just want you for your healing abilities, right? Which is, again, makes you very rich all unto itself. Or because, like I said, laughter makes people, you know, call, it helps people to heal. Maybe you have people cracking up laughing. Or maybe you can sing. Or maybe you can dance. And maybe you're a writer. Something about your energy is very healing to deeply hurt people, Aries. And that's what Source is saying. You have a big heart, but you overgive. Like overgive thought before you look. Like somebody's learning how to create very firm boundaries and also enforce those boundaries. Not in a mean way, but just kind of like... You know how before you pull out a blowtorch and like, okay, oh my God, they calling me about the same stuff. This is crazy. Maybe I need to say it in a, a hurtful way for them to get it. And that just sends them away even more hurt. Maybe just saying to, you know, hurt energies is like, I see that you're going through a lot of pain. And as much as I would like to help you, I feel like prayer would be best. I'm going to pray for you and not pray on them by going to go talk to everybody else about their pain and what they've gone through. And I got to run it through this person and that person and all of this because you feel bad because you feel like you had to enforce a boundary. So 333, three, three, you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity live your truth and be a positive light to others. That's the part that a lot of people miss out on is the opportunity to keep information sacred. 
To ask a person to pray for them is an honor, is a gift, it's an honor, it's a privilege when a person says, can you pray for me? I really need space, I mean, I need help. Can you hold space for me? You can make it crystal clear that I'm not holding your baggage, but I can hold space, right? And recognize if you all are on the same frequency or not. If it comes down to, you know, a romantic situation, if, you all, if you're not on the same frequency, be okay with that. I don't care how good they look. You know, how handsome they are, how chiseled their body is, how big their house or car, whatever it is. So it's just saying, don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that to yourself. Because too many people leave relationships and like, okay, now I see what the problem was. I should have ran every single time God opened up that door. That was my exodus strategy to get away from a situation. But I hung in there. I stayed in there. So somebody's learning how to do that. So that is what I have for you, Aries. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.